You know, parents post pictures of their kids on social media all the time. But tonight, investigators want you to think twice. Melissa Correa explains why. Just like everything else, photos are valuable to pedophiles. Houston Police Sergeant Luis Menendez Sierra investigates online child sex crimes. He wants you to know pedophiles are swiping through social media with the rest of us. They're online always looking for new images and videos. And sometimes when we serve a search warrant at the house, the person is sitting at a desk, right, with their computer, and they haven't gotten up in maybe a month. They literally will use buckets and jars to urinate and defecate because there's a likelihood if they get up to go use the restroom, they might miss the opportunity at an image that just popped up for a second or so. They're searching for snapshots of kids posing, children in swimsuits, babies in diapers. So just imagine that person is, a picture like that is gold to them. And, and they're waiting for someone to post it. Pictures that most of us wouldn't think twice about. Like first day of school photos. They're looking for details like full names and a school's location. I know your mom, this is her name. She came, told me to come pick you up. Has you that know, ever happened? That's, that's definitely, that's definitely happened, yes. These innocent photos also work like a legal loophole because they're not child porn. So we wouldn't be able to like charge him for having that picture, uh, but it's scary that they do have that picture. Part of protecting children from pedophiles. It's just safer to just not put your entire life on social media. Means pausing before we post. In the spirit of transparency, I want to let you know that we thought about how we were going to tell this story visually. We did not pull anything from social media. Instead, we used stock images, photos and videos of professional models.